Welcome guys, welcome to AFM, this is our first episode here. We're going to be looking back at the basics of braking, why using assisted braking won't benefit the regular Forza driver and the differences between ABS on and ABS off. If we go to the assists, uh, now a lot of people that are new to this game will go for assisted braking. Assisted braking will take the reins for you. As soon as you get the game, just turn it off. Turn it off because then you learn in the tracks and part of these tracks is corners. If you want to learn the track, then turn your assisted brake off. The problem with assisted braking is it adheres to the racing line. As you can see here, when the racing line turns red or is about to turn red, the braking will, uh, will be applied by the AI and slows down for you. Now, for me, braking goes hand in hand with cornering and assisted braking really does feed that misinformation to the driver. It will initially brake further back than you should. Uh, it, it, and it kind of it kind of kind of doesn't give you the right accurate braking point at all It's braking for you so you can have a comfortable drive not so that you can hit lap times so We definitely recommend never going into multiplayer if you're still using these if you're not comfortable with um, Using ABS on then don't please try not to go into multiplayer as we're going to show you what happens I'm going to let the assisted braking do the braking We'll let him catch up so high-speed situation He's catching me up. He's getting my draft. He's going to pull. And I'm breaking here, breaking here. I'm getting smashed in the, bu smashed in the back. Now, he knew that was going to happen because obviously he knows I'm running assisted braking. But for people that are not expecting that, it's going to be a killer. There's going to be too yeah. many incidents. We'll do it again here. It's important to know that the, the Viper actually breaks better than the Pagani. Now, that's there. just there. Just there, he's... Two to three car lengths too early. That, that, that's too early for the Pagani. So now we're going to go and show you what you can do with ABS and the differences between ABS on and ABS off. Here we go. Tell me which line, dude. Alright, this one coming up now. You ready? Yeah. That is the difference between ABS on and ABS off. Now, we were roughly going the same speed there. We we're roughly going the same speed within a few miles an hour of each other. And that is the difference between ABS on and ABS off. First of all, if you're no noticing the controller inputs, with ABS on, you can put 100% down on the braking pressure. And it will not lock up. Um, there are AI dampening effects that stop you from locking up and doing 11s. And that is what ABS is designed to do. This is how you drive in with uh, assisted braking. Is that? That's how you drive with ABS on. Now we're going to teach you how to drive with ABS off, and we'll give you a more explained detail of what it is. You must find that sweet spot, and this is dependent on two things. It's dependent on per vehicle, on the vehicle you're driving, and the setup that you have, which we talk about braking. You know, the, it's not the same for every car, and this is this is where your feel comes into it. You've got to feel the braking. So let's do it. Let's see what you let's see what you will gain now. Let's see if a road runner gains anything at all. Ready when you are, dude. Yep. Tell me which line it is, dude. The one coming up. See there, I broke it. <laughs> I actually, I accidentally just. I locked my brakes a little bit, but my, I did my engine braking, and that was it. I mean, you could do this multiple times, and yes, there are going to be slight variations in where you finish braking, and, but it's all down to you. It's all down to you as a driver. There's nothing in it. as an, as, There's no AI help. Here we go. So watch my braking. I was I slightly locked to my brake there because as I'm pre as I'm compressing the trigger I'm not going all the way down I I'm I don't think there's ever a time when you're running ABS off your left your your brake trigger goes all the way to the floor and you never press it like that either it's squeezing and sometimes it's but I I, I mean people have different techniques but for me personally I don't use the tip of my index finger I'm using my first knuckle and I'm kind of like, grabbing over the top of it and I'm pressing my finger down on the back of the case the Xbox controller casing and using my first knuckle to break. Now, I know Roadrunner is doing it differently, 
Rodon is um, uh, uh, much more very much than I am. He does it differently because <laughs> his clutch... Oh, he's middle finger. His, yeah, exactly. His clutch is his, his index finger, so he uses his second finger like this. And that is just so much more... For me, that's mind-blowing. I, I would never, ever drive like that, but that's his preference. So that's his clutch. Yeah. This is his brake, and that's his finger configuration. On the brake. Oh, okay, so that's how you... So, that, like that. That's how you do it, then. That's how you would do it. So, like, so for me... For me, it's just index finger on the brake, and I wrap it round, and I'm squeezing it. I can get a much better refinement and judge by squeezing. The tune for the 2016 Dodge Viper ACR is publicly shared, so please do give it a download. Also, like and subscribe to our channel. For all the live action, follow us on Twitch and Twitter. Use the links in the description below. Remember, guys, pick up the tune.